Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight in the Jack Simpson Gym as we pay tribute to an incredible member of the Dinos basketball and the Dinos athletic family. We're going to begin by asking our men's basketball team to please come out onto the floor. Please welcome Dino's men's basketball head coach, Dan Van Horn. Hello, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Tonight, obviously, we celebrate a young man. And uh, I know it seems sad when you look in here, but I think what's important when we leave here tonight is that we're celebrating somebody who's got the legacy in our community. Before I start, I just want to thank all for coming to celebrate Andrew Milner. And thank you for the outpouring of support from so many to our basketball program, to the community of Anaganish, and particularly to his family during these last few months. Along with our Calgary basketball community, the community of Anaganish, St. FX University, and many have and continue to be supportive, providing places to stay, food to eat, impromptu pickup games with some extraordinary skill provided by the Milner family. But St. FX University has done a great deal to contribute to how this has gone and, and really, if you can say that it's been successful in some way, we do need to thank them for that. And Coach Konchalski has been a leader in this. Uh, and Andrew played with a number of the players that are playing against us tonight. And so there just isn't there just isn't any better game that we could set up to have to honor a young man from that community. So it's no coincidence that we're colliding tonight. Andrew spent many hours training, practicing, and playing at St. FX. And this tragedy has brought our two programs together and reminds us how valuable our time truly is when we're doing this. So thank you, Steve, and thank you to St. FX and the Anaganish community. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Joining us today, in addition to the St. FX team, um, obviously is our team, our alumni, and our six-man club, and a group of people who supported Andrew through his time here in his two years. We also have behind me uh, our DEVELOP program. They are young people that Andrew coached and has had an impact on in his time here. And then obviously we've brought his family. So we have Ellen Milner, we have Jack and Sophie Milner, and his dad, Billy McIntosh. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. At UFC, we use the phrase, dinos today, leaders tomorrow. Tonight, we are here to celebrate a leader, a leader that had influence, because that's what leaders do. They influence others, and Andrew did this in such a positive way. And I'm going to read an example of how positive he was. 
This comes from a young player from our, our developed program. And he wrote this uh, to Andrew's parents. It says, Hi, my name is Jack Gagnon, and I live in Calgary. I'm 12 years old. I watched Andrew play basketball with the Dinos for three years. He got that wrong, but that's okay. After every game, I would go on the court and talk to him about the game. He gave me a hug after they won every game. Andrew was my coach in the spring with Develop a Dino. He always took the time to ask me about my game. He taught me a lot, and I will always do his dribbling drill. I have his number and initials on my basketball shoe and will do this forever. He meant a lot to me, and I miss him. I hope I can play basketball like him someday. Mr. Ben McIntosh is my teacher, and he told me he went to school with Andrew's mom. Small community. I will be at the Dinos basketball game this weekend, and I really hope to maybe meet them. I read this at the memorial. Basketball, like life, has a rhythm to it. Whether that rhythm is recognized in the flow of time from freshman to senior graduation, or growing up through childhood, becoming a man, a father, and eventually a grandfather. The Andrew I knew was never the person to fit the mold. To put it simply, he didn't color just between the lines. It is an art to lead, an art to play the rhythm of the game of basketball, an art to forge relationships, an art to be a teammate, a mentor, a brother, and a son. In the true sense of the word, Andrew is an artist. He was an artist. He drew his own unique drawings. He had the ability to make you laugh with an exceptionally timed quick jab or joke. On this court, he was an artist. There isn't a player other than one or two guys, but I can't think of one that showed up and in two years won two Canada West titles and was in the national final twice and won a national championship. As a freshman, he played 20 minutes in our national championship game. He played the game with style and a flair for timing, which I didn't understand, and I, I make this jab and joke with Ellen all the time because I subbed him out after every timeout. He'd honed his skills better than most, and I teased his dad with this one, overcoming a clear athleticism from a hockey background. But his brightest skill was his mind. That quick wit was his asset, and his composure extraordinary. He had a mental toughness born from his roots in Anaganish. In all my years of coaching, I've never come across a better leader. He could have played anywhere in this country and he chose the adventure, he chose a challenge. Many would back away, take an easy path, but not Andrew. He embraced the struggle, found joy in being forced to be at his best, and did it with grace, composure, passion, and intensity. For those coaches and players in, in this building, basketball is a community. And the number four, the number four is being warned by so many tonight to represent Andrew. I encourage you, as coaches, never to give that number out unless it's to somebody who plays the game the right way, approaches life the right way, and does things with character and passion and intensity. Jack G, who wrote that note, is just one example that is clear we have all been influenced by Andrew's leadership. Stories will be told by so many others that he has touched. His legacy will live in our program for forever. With this in mind, we want it to live for forever. And as a result, our six-man club and with the generosity of the community have come together and we have a scholarship in his name in perpetuity here so that any player that ever comes here will always remember who he is. And I think that's a really important thing to have done.
I'd like to take a quick moment to thank our staff and everybody here that's done so much work for us over the last six months and how this has functioned. Um, the professionalism that they've shown and the things that have been done here at the University of Calgary to support this have been amazing. And I definitely could not have done it without them. I could not have done it without our coaching staff and the players and the alumni and our former players that played with Andrew. I'd like to have the Milners please come out. Please come out on the floor. Come on, Billy. Oh, and Macintosh. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for lending us your son for the last two years. I'm not sure if we gave you one, but I ordered another one. That's from the beach. And it just has an inscription on it, and I want you to have it. Thank you. Everybody give it up for these people. They're unbelievable.